I first met Carlton uh, the first month that I was uh, president of the Connecticut Minority Supplier Development Council. He had just received an award from one of his largest clients, Procter & Gamble. And looking at him over the years, what I see is a man who truly wants to be successful. But I think even more than his desire to be successful, he wants others to be successful. And he wants to pull along others that, you know, without his leadership and guidance and vision, uh, they might have a much more difficult time. Carlton Highsmith started out in business in 1983 with less than $20,000. Today, his company, Specialized Packaging Group, a leading supplier of folding cartons to Fortune 500 companies, boasts annual sales in excess of $140 million. Ten of the biggest accounts do not make a move in packaging unless they speak to uh, Carl Heisman's uh, team. Every day he proves himself uh, of innovative ways to cut costs without hurting the product, most of the time improving the product. Carlton came from humble beginnings, growing up in rural North Carolina in the early 1950s. During summer visits to relatives in New Haven, Carlton was able to secure employment to help fund his college education and went on to earn a bachelor's degree in economics and a master's degree in marketing from the University of Wisconsin. Over the past 25 years, Carl has developed a well-earned reputation as an expert and innovator in the field of packaging design, printing, and manufacturing. With over 500 employees at facilities in seven U.S. states and Canada, Specialized Packaging Group is the largest minority-owned manufacturer of paperboard packaging in North America. Producing packaging for food and beverage, consumer pharmaceuticals, as well as other products. Carlton Highsmith and his company have won a number of impressive awards. On multiple occasions, Specialized Packaging Group was voted Minority Supplier of the Year by Procter & Gamble, Colgate-Palmolive, and S.C. Johnson, and was named Supplier of the Year by the Connecticut Minority Supplier Development Council, as well as Manufacturer of the Year by the U.S. Department of Commerce Minority Business Development Agency. Carlton has been included in a list of top black entrepreneurs by U.S. Black Engineering and Information Technology and has been named Business Person of the Year by Business New Haven Newspaper. His company has been ranked on Black Enterprise Magazine's prestigious BE100 for over 10 consecutive years. Well, one of the things that I've picked up from Carlton is his ability to listen. And I think uh, one of the misconceptions about leaders is that a leader has to do the talking. Uh, leaders really need to listen and, and then make decisions. And if you're in a room with Carlton, uh, you might not know he was the man in that room. Uh, he's listening to what's being said, he's digesting it, he's organizing it, and he can summarize it and quickly come to some strategic decisions about what is the thing that we should be doing here. Carlton firmly believes that the dream of achieving successful entrepreneurship is in reach of all who are willing to work hard and believe fully in themselves. He is proof of that and encourages others to realize their own potential. Carlton is very committed to education in the African American and minority community. There is tremendous talent in the community, but there's a gap between uh, the uh, essentially what resources are available to uh, kids in our community, uh, not just financial resources, but the resources of mentors, people who have, have essentially gone down the path that Carlton has gone down. I think the thing that defines Carl's character is that his willingness, no matter how busy he is, is to take the time to help a person in need. I've had Carl several times in the center of Harlem where I grew up and uh, the guy is terrific advocating children to stay in school and to be the best they can be. To give the time that he does back into his community and to the next generation I think is so important today. 
Carleton has invested in the education of the next generation by contributing to scholarships around the country, including the Marcus and Marguerite McRaven Endowed Scholarship at Quinnipiac University. And so he gives not only of his money, he gives of his time, and I think that's what's most impressive. He has made a significant contribution here in the New Haven community, uh, not just with the I Have a Dream Foundation, but I know that he's working very closely with the Amistad Charter School, well known not only here in New Haven, but across the country as a leader in inner city education. Residing with his wife, Lita Marie, in Middlebury, Connecticut, Carlton Highsmith has served on the Board of Trustees at Quinnipiac University since 2004. Carlton's daughter, Jennifer, will receive her master's degree in teaching from Quinnipiac in May, while daughter, Alexis, is a University of Wisconsin Law School graduate. Carlton was helped somewhere along the line. Somebody took a chance on Carlton. And what you see with Carlton is he didn't forget that, and I believe he's also sharing that experience with others. Thank you.